Let's talk about yesterday at New Malones. I took a hot dump yesterday at New Malones. <laughs> so, yeah. New Malones yesterday. Took a massive dump yesterday. Didn't catch a freaking thing. Just doing some Instagram stuff. Back on the Delta. I'm going to do like a half day. So, we're going to use the Zal Dangerous that's stuck to a glide bait. Uh, this is a Bass Pro Shop glide bait. 35 bucks. It's been getting smoked by Striper. So, those bass have to be tuned into it. But I think this Weedless Zal Dangerous is going to be the move because the Thule line out in Frank's track and around the Delta, all the grass is starting to die. So you're gonna be able to get these swim baits, these glide baits in the areas. You couldn't do that in the summertime because there's just too much damn grass. But before we go, I gotta show you a couple things outside that we're gonna make some modifications to, and then uh, we'll get out on the Delta and do the damn thing. So a couple changes we're gonna do to the kayaks. This is my old kayak. Uh, I've been running this motor for a super long time, as you can tell. This is all the Arizona damage I did on the rivers, just running into rocks and just being a madman. This is my other Hobie. It's got a brand new motor on it. I don't use this rig at all. As you can tell, this one's nice and shiny. So I took this one out last week and it's got that extra like gear. Like I, I can't explain it. When you push the button to get like high speeds, it's got that extra like, I don't know why it takes off so much. Well, I know why this one's freaking old and it's been running around rocks so we're gonna switch motors and uh, i'm gonna put this one on this one because my hookups are the same a little word of advice for you guys these connections by Minn Kota are the best connections you can have i ran the old school like little two pluggers these ones as you can see did it multiple times because they just freaking like break out and the electricity doesn't connect and the water will get in there and you'll freaking start fuzzing out so get the bigger connectors that'll save your life i swear to you those are the best but yeah, we're gonna see if this motor is actually dying. I need to upgrade, or this might just be a freaking tugboat compared to the Hobie and just runs faster. So we'll check those out today and uh, take some swim baits out and see if we can get stuck. So meet you guys out in the Delta. front is going like a half mile an hour faster than the old one i can tell i mean in the kayak world a half mile an hour is a lot of juice so start off with the zal dangerous this is the seven inch and then uh we got some glide baits here all the trash from new malona is yesterday in here all the freaking kitex and all the stuff that didn't work we only got about three hours to make it happen before it gets totally dark out here but we're gonna throw around these big swim baits some glide bait and uh go see if one of these big girls want to come out and play so let's go see <laughs> Tule line's dying off because of the winter, the cold. So now all this is open. So hopefully we can get in here and start catching bigger fish and not have to mess with all this grass. That was a bump. That was a bump. That was a bump. That was a bump, baby. Get in here. We got one. Stuck in grass. We got one on the Zaldane, baby. Oh, don't come off. Oh my god! No, it's still on there! Still on there! Oh man! Wow. Right when you freaking think you got a 10 pounder, dude. Freaking striper central in here, man. Damn it! That's why it's so hard, man, to bass fish out here right now. These stripers get up shallow. They get up real shallow. They'll get to like three foot of water and go through all this and eat up all those little bass. So that's why when you come out here, you're not having those like 40, 50 bass days where you're catching like one pounders these striper in here deep now oh yeah all right you're stuck in there that damn wreck my kayak bro freaking swim bait action man these freaking striper in here deep in the toolies you guys want any tacos that got me freaking going man i thought that was a freaking 10 pounder dude i almost shit right on the front of this kayak i mean just stripers just stink don't they God dang. What's this fucking numb nuts doing?
the fuck are you doing? Are you like 10 feet maybe? What the fuck? You have the entire delta, why'd you run on me? You fucking idiot. You have the entire delta, why'd you run on me? Fucking idiot. Is that insane to you? Oh my god, dude. That stuff just pisses me off, dude. Ran the entire line. All the, it's like a freaking ocean out here. Dude, I'm like shaking. I wanted to throw this swim bait like right off that dude's forehead. Oh my god. It's a good thing we brought some drinks, man. I need another beer, dude. <laughs> dude freaking out right now. When that guy was driving at me, I swear to God, I thought that was a cop. I thought he was coming to check my fishing license. That's how close he got to me. Let off the throttle and never went left or right, or left. He just came straight at me. Fucking insane, dude. What a tweaker, dude. <laughs> This motor rips. I'm keeping this motor on this kayak. The other one's going on another one. The Hobie can have it. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a tight day on the Delta. Threw around the swim bait, threw around the glide bait, tried to keep it big and stay away from the worm action. Uh, just ended up with that freaking striper. The striper in real shallow. They're in the toolies, so they're pushing those bass around. It is what it is. Uh, and that guy, I don't really care. Um, I just don't like guys running that close. I get it, I'm in a kayak, so I never complain about anybody coming up on me. I have to share the water with other boats, but when you get that close to me for no apparent reason, I thought he was coming over to say hi to me. And he just went by me waving. I'm like, this isn't Disneyland guy. Like you got a whole freaking ocean out there. Give me like 20 feet at least, you know? But it is what it is, it's all good. I gotta get ready for work. And uh, next week I will be in Arizona for Thanksgiving, back in the AZ, doing some smallmouth fishing and uh, hanging out with my buddies. So hopefully I'll make a cool video and uh, I'll see you guys then. See you guys, peace.